Recently, a new Blender add-on called Pixie Pivot changed how you can control pivots. Think of it as bringing Max and Maya style pivot, I mean pivot tricks, into Blender. And with a hood, it is basically a smart controller for Blender's 3D cursor, letting you easily reposition it anywhere you need. And in practical terms, this means you can align your transform gizmos to arbitrary parts of your model, like faces, edges, etc. And you can set or rotate objects' origins, and you can do that on the fly. And you can snap pivots to mesh centers or bounding box edges, and define custom planes for aligning or flattening geometry, in addition to other things. So let's dive in and see what this add on is all about. The add ons in view hot shows the current pivot mode, operation, and available hotkeys in green, so you always know what keys do what as you work. So the add-on has an on-screen heads-up display that literally tells you every action and key that you can press in the moment. So I was never wondering what to do next. For example, you can discover you could hold the hotkey and simply click drag on a face to align the pivot to that face normal without losing my original selection, and it worked on the first try. As you may know, Blender's native workflow for custom pivots can be a bit clunky, but I think Pixie Pivot made it kinda intuitive. Within minutes, I was able to align pivots all over, and I'm not alone in this. In early user review notes, this plugin is quite easy to use, and saves a significant amount of time, and I couldn't agree more. One thing I love about Pixie Pivot is that it is not just aimed at one niche. It is useful whether you are animating, rigging, modeling, or anything in between. So if you are an animator, the add-on lets you temporarily refocus your pivot for a quick tricky rotation without messing the actual rig, which is a trick animators from Max or Maya will appreciate. Riggers can use it to quickly set or tweak object origins and alignment, which is handy for placing bones or control objects precisely. Modelers and layout artists probably get the biggest win. Aligning objects or part of the mesh becomes a breeze, and placing objects in a scene is easier too. In fact, Everyone who ever wrestled with positioning things in Blender can benefit from this. The add-on can also help Blender users coming from Max and Maya feel more at home, reducing the pivot culture shock by giving comparable pivot control tools. You see, the developer was directly inspired by these 3D packages, so these features will feel more intuitive to folks coming from these backgrounds. The add-on actually has a few standout tricks that you really need as a Blender user. First is the multi-point alignment. You can use up to three points to define a custom pivot orientation when you need extra precision. For instance, selecting three points on a tilted surface lets the tool calculate a perfectly aligned plane for your pivot. This is super useful when aligning objects on even terrain or even weird angles. Another highlight is how it separates pivot tweaking from object selection entirely. You can be in the middle of the editing or transforming an object, and with a quick drag, you can align your pivot to some other elements without dropping your current selection or mode. So no more jumping in and out of the edit mode or awkwardly moving the 3D cursor by hand. I also love that the add-on isn't limited to the visual gizmo. It works with Blender's grab, rotate, and scale hotkeys, meaning if you hide the gizmo, you can still transform around your custom pivot. The snap to bounding box feature is another neat addition. One tap and your pivot jumps to an object center or its bounding extents, minimum and max points, which saves time aligning objects. And of course, I can't forget the on-screen HUD and customization options. The HUD not only teaches you the tool as mentioned, but you can also tweak the hotkeys, colors, and default behaviors to fit your workflow. And it is always nice when the add-on lets you tailor it to your liking, instead of locking you into someone else's key map. On a side note, as I said, this add-on was inspired by Max and Maya, but it doesn't completely replicate every pivot feature from these programs. But in practice, I didn't personally run into missing features, because all major pivot adjustments that I wanted were there. But ultra-power users of Max might need a little bit more than that. But this being a newly released add-on, it is also evolving. In fact, version 1.1 update dropped within days of launch, indicating that the developer is actually polishing the tool frequently. And there you have it guys. If you like this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. 
If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.